So I think it's appropriate to do a full day of eating intuitively because that is what this month has turned into. A full eating intuitive month. Simple as that. I'm curious to see how this goes. And I really was thinking like, what am I technically doing, right? Like I'm taking a month off from alternate day fasting. And if you haven't heard, that's because my hair started falling out. I started getting extremely hungry and I'm trying to prevent that. For me, that's a sign that my body is not trusting whatever I'm doing. So it's time to slow down, pull back. Don't be afraid to take a break from fasting. And that's exactly what I'm doing this month. I think that this would be something that I wouldn't have thought twice about, but considering my history of a lot of prolonged fasting, including my 54 day long fast and all the other ones, I truly believe and I feel confident that this is the right thing to do. So um, basically have another two weeks left of eating intuitively. I'm curious to see how I'm gonna feel by the end of it, where my weight's going to be, and just overall like my body composition. So. Um, I'm not expecting to lose because I'm eating intuitively. So I might, ex I might gain a few, I might lose a few, I might stay the same. If I could stay the same, that's something that I will be really happy with because I think my body just needs longer periods of time to maintain at certain weights. But I don't know, that's just my theory. So stay tuned and we will get this day rolling. It's currently like 9.30 and I have not ate yet. Have not walked this morning. I've been trying to actually work in the morning on my second YouTube channel, Mariah Monetize. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. And I am actually pushing my exercise to the end of the day because for me, it's a treat no matter what. It's not like it's ever a chore. So it's something that I look forward to so I can kind of do it at any point throughout the day. So I think this is like a good measurement to show you my hair loss and like how much of it has grown back. So you can like see here that there is a bit of a crease and that my hair is actually thicker up here and you can see that it's thinner. It's like all crazy because it was like raining like crazy yesterday and it was extra humid. So I'm trying to just flat iron it. But you could see basically my hair has pretty much has like that much to grow to be able to catch up with the rest of my hair. So pretty good for the most part. Um, you could still see it also too like sticking out here on the side so some of that hair just kind of falls and then like sticks out and that's all the regrowth from when I did it from when I fasted for 54 days and then lost started losing my hair shortly after that so it was probably two months after that fast that my hair started falling out quite aggressively so I am getting my scripts ready here to do a Mariah monetize video and the truth behind the scenes is that my apartment is a little bit too warm. The air conditioning just hits the kitchen perfectly, but not quite the living area. So I have this fan on keeping me cool until I start that you could probably hear, that'll get turned off. And then I also have my feet on an ice pack because if my feet are cold, typically my entire body cools down. But now I have to wait because if you can hear in the background, someone is just, it kind of sounds like a mass murderer just sawing or whatever kind of tool that is away and um, I have to wait for that to be over so I have somewhat decent audio because imagine watching a video about student loans and the stats and what might change with the stimulus package and hearing that in the background. Now thanks. In terms of my hunger levels it's currently 1030 and um, could I eat? Yes but like I'm distracted to where I'm not going to for probably another 30 minutes to an hour. So that's kind of like my status there. I have had coffee today thus far, but um, I haven't had water. So actually, that's a good reminder. I'm gonna go ahead and start drinking some water. I really have not been that good at drinking water. I don't know what it is. I used to drink a ton of water, but kind of got out of the, uh, the habit of drinking it as much. So I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, it's noon, time to eat. My first, I wouldn't say meal, it's more of a snack. I have cabbage salsa, and then I have half an ounce of pork rinds. I love this snack, it's my favorite, because it's probably like under 200 calories. It's pretty, pretty satisfying, pretty tasty, and I enjoy the crunch from the pork skin. So, definitely one of my favorite snacks. Even though I'm eating intuitively, I've been trying to focus on lower calorie foods and just eat more for volume. So one thing I don't really talk about is kind of just like the flow of 
me eating throughout the day. So for example, I like eat a little bit and then I reevaluate. And then I nibble a little bit and then I reevaluate. So I made a second bowl here of the pork rinds and the cabbage salsa. Between the first and the second serving, 300 grams of the cabbage salsa, one ounce of the pork skins, and I should have had nutritional yeast with the first round, but I put a tablespoon of nutritional yeast on the second round. I'm trying to overload on B vitamins. With the first serving plus the second serving, it's only 281 calories. So that's why I like this. It's low calorie, um, high volume, and it's just very tasty and enjoyable and delicious. All right, on my third bowl, you guys, I'm just not satisfied yet, but I think after this one, I will be much closer to feeling satisfied. With the first two bowls plus this one, I'm still under 500 calories. I have five ounces of a sweet potato, more of the cabbage salsa, a tablespoon of the nutritional yeast, and usually I like to put ground beef on top of this. It like really is a great touch, but I don't have any ground beef to frost in. So I'm gonna keep it vegan. Am I vegan right here? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it vegan. Am I going vegan? No. Have I ate vegan? Oh, I take that back. I had two shit ones like five seconds ago. Not a vegan day, not even close. So just going over here, this snack that I'm really enjoying, I take the Greek plain yogurt from Costco I add um, about 15 grams of maple syrup and then I usually add um, just dry oatmeal on top. I love dry oatmeal. I discovered how much I loved it when I would eat it on top of ice cream. And so I recently tried a yogurt here in Puerto Rico. It's a local one that's an oatmeal yogurt. And so this is kind of like my variation of it. So I could control like how much sweetness is in here. And um, just, I really do like the macros on Greek yogurt. And I really haven't had this in so long and I would hate to eat it because it was plain and gross. But when I add the maple syrup, it's very much edible for me. The calories are sensible and the macros aren't horrible. And I just don't mind getting um, sugar from, maple, from a maple syrup source. So I typically um, mix it in completely, but I decided to actually not mix it in completely and see if there's a different like taste experience. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my 10 grams of oatmeal. Whoops, accidentally put 15 because I was trying to videotape. Come on guys, you're making me eat more. What the heck? What the heck? So I really wanna talk about today, satiation, feeling satiated, feeling satisfied, feeling full. So you saw my third bowl with a cabbage salsa I had added sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes were a game changer when it came to me feeling satiated. That has been a very consistent thing for me. <coughs> Excuse me. If I consume sweet potatoes, I'm not really a potato fan, and I like them plain, which is the best part. I don't add anything to them. I can even eat them by themselves. So the other day I was literally sitting here eating a potato like an ice cream cone. I was like, if I close my eyes, the textures are similar. Not really, but you know, I was trying to convince myself. But what I can say is that after the potato, a lot more satisfied. Then you saw me with my Greek yogurt and maple syrup and topped with oatmeal. I am at 638 calories for the day. The volume is high. My fullness level is an eight. And so for me, like if I, I have to feel the food in my stomach. For example, when I had those two, those two first bowls of, um, the cabbage salsa and the pork skins, I didn't feel anything in my stomach. But the potatoes instantly felt the difference. I could feel the difference in food in my stomach. And honestly, that's something that I need because for me, I need to feel that physical change for like my mind and for my brain to register that there is something in there, that there are nutrients in there. So I don't know how many calories I'm gonna eat today because this is intuitive eating, but so far, so good because I'm under a thousand. It's very easy for me to get to a thousand dollars my first meal, a thousand dollars, a thousand calories my first meal of the day. So I'm feeling good, 6.38, feeling satiated. It's approaching one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm feeling very confident that it's gonna be a good day of eating. So it's approaching 5 p.m. and I am now gonna be making a broccoli salad. You, I haven't had anything since you last saw me, so I'm about in the 600 calorie range still. Um, I'm not sure exactly 
what my broccoli salad will come out to, mainly because it just depends on the ratio between the avocado oil and the Greek yogurt that I use for my dressing. That's where the majority of the calories come from. So I try to just find the right ratio between the two so it's still good but like doesn't have too many calories so i'll get started on that and i'll let you know how it goes all right it is approaching six o'clock i have here a broccoli salad how to change it up from the usual so i use a combination of greek yogurt and avocado mayonnaise for the dressing i had no pepper i need to get pepper at the store so hopefully that won't throw it off too much but i'm pretty sure it probably will um so basically craisins uh, red onion, broccoli, bacon, and instead of um, seeds, because I don't have any seeds right now, I use Brazil nuts, I just chopped those up, and I also dumped in the bacon grease in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this, and then weigh it afterwards, and then put all of the ingredients together in a chronometer as a recipe, and then figure out how many grams I ate, and figure out how many calories I eat. So I'm just gonna eat until I'm full. This is a big ass bowl, like a pound and a half at least, so I don't anticipate to eat all of it, but we shall see. So I think this is it for me. The broccoli salad came out. I had quite a bit, I think like seven or 800 grams of that. So I'm being like uh, about 1100 calories. That put me at 1800 calories. It didn't really fill me up as much as I would have anticipated or thought or hoped for, mainly because of the volume. I thought the volume was definitely going to uh, make me feel more full. But this is kind of like my dessert for the day. I have 50 grams of dried dates, which I'm just eating them because I have them. I will never buy them again. Fresh dates are the way to go. And then I have half an ounce of cheese. Cheese and dates is like my go-to snack. I don't know, it just tastes amazing to me. I love it. After this, um, I'll probably be done for the day, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm feeling pretty satisfied for the most part. But it's just after six, so. We shall see. All right, so my total calories for the day, 2,179. And here is your deja vu moment of the day. I basically just got another serving of what I just showed you. The dates, the sweetness of the dates and the saltiness of the cheese. Oh my gosh, it's just so delicious and addicting. Will I have more after this? I don't know, you guys, it's intuitive eating. I eat when I feel hungry and I want something. So that's that. So it's approaching 9 p.m. The last saw, thing you saw me eat was the dates and cheese. I have not had anything since. It's been approximately three hours. I'm super content. I have no desire to eat for the rest of the day. The truth is that, honestly, what I had for lunch filled me up so much. I could have potentially been good to go for the day, but I was like, I kind of had to finish the video, you know? So everything I feel like digested okay for me today. I'm definitely feeling a difference with the broccoli, feeling a little bit bloated there. I just had to make a return to Costco. So I went inside, I got some spinach for iron purposes. Hopefully um, I can get my hair to stop falling out. Like how often do you run out of pepper? I ran out of pepper. And then I also got myself some blueberries because, you know, I'm not really a fruit kind of a gal. Oh man, they, they sound really good right now. I could totally pop that thing open and start eating it, but I'm not going to because I don't like to get in the habit of eating and driving. But I'm not crazy about fruit, but if I don't have it for a long time, I absolutely feel like I need a little bit. So I'll probably eat that whole clamshell in like two days because I can eat blueberries rather quickly and it's, 30, it's two pounds. So I love, love love blueberries. 